Laser. A laser is a device that emits light through a process called stimulated emission. The term laser is an acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. A laser is effectively a machine that makes billions of atoms pump out trillions of photons all at once so they line up to form a really concentrated light beam. The first laser constructed in 1960 by Theodore Maiman based on the earlier work by Charles H. Towns. Laser light is very different from normal light. Laser light has the following properties. The light released is monochromatic. It contains one specific wavelength of light. The wavelength of light is determined by the amount of energy released when the electron drops to a lower orbit. The light released is coherent. It is organized. Each photon moves in step with the others. This means that all of the photons have wave fronts that launch in unison. The light is very directional. A laser light has a very tight beam and is very strong and concentrated. A flashlight, on the other hand, releases light in many directions and the light is very weak and diffuse. To make these three properties occur, it takes something called stimulated emission. This does not occur in your ordinary flashlight. In a flashlight, all of the atoms release their photons randomly. In stimulated emission, photon emission is organized. The photon that any atom releases has a certain wavelength that is dependent on the energy difference between the excited state and the ground state. If this photon should encounter another atom that has an electron in the same excited state, stimulated emission can occur. The other key to a laser is a pair of mirrors, one at each end of the lasing medium. Photons with a very specific wavelength and phase reflect off the mirrors to travel back and forth through the lasing medium. In the process, they stimulate other electrons to make the downward energy jump and can cause the emission of more photons of the same wavelength and phase. A cascade effect occurs and soon we have propagated many, many photons of the same wavelength and phase. The mirror at one end of the laser is half-silvered, meaning it reflects some light and lets some light through. The light that makes it through is the laser light. This figure illustrates how a simple ruby laser works. Now we can see all of these components in the figure. A ruby laser consists of a flash tube, a ruby rod and two mirrors. The ruby rod is the lasing medium and the flash tube pumps it the laser in its non-lasing state. The flash tube fires and injects light into the ruby rod. The light excites atoms in the ruby. Some of these atoms emit photons. Some of these photons run in a direction parallel to the ruby's axis, so they bounce back and forth off the mirrors. As they pass through the crystal, they stimulate emission in other atoms. Monochromatic, single-phase, columnated light leaves the ruby through the half-silvered mirror, the laser light. Lasers produce such intense and precisely focused energy that they can cut through metals, ceramics, plastics and cloths. The pinpoint precision of lasers makes them particularly suitable for welding, detached retinas and sealing broken blood vessels in the eye. The procedure is painless because the laser light passes straight through the patient's eyeball. Laser surgery can also help to correct eye problems such as short sight.